What up guys, acoustic lesson for the song Never Lost, Elevation Worship, Torn Wells. So this is gonna be an interesting song because it's in the key of B, but then like uh, in that, in the bridge or leading up to the bridge, they go into, they jump keys and they go to the key of C. So I'm just gonna show you um, how to play it in the key of B, which is what, uh, which is what it's three fourths of the song is in. So we're gonna go capo four and then use these G shapes. I'm gonna show you a funny way if you wanted to like go do jump keys. So it's gonna go from jump from the key of uh, B to the key of C. So I'm gonna show you just kind of a funny way to do that. I don't really know that I would recommend it if you were like doing it on your worship team or something. But if you wanted to just like play along with the song and the worship um, song, you could definitely just do this. So anyways, we'll get there in a little bit, but it's a uh, key of B, fourth fret is the capo, playing in the shapes of the uh, key of G. So this, is, this has some interesting chords in here, a little bit uh, different than what we're used to. So just a little bit of, little bit of blueprint for the lesson. I'm just gonna show you um, the, uh, the, the verse. There's gonna be no finger picking in this. It's gonna be uh, the, the verse, the pre-chorus, and then the chorus. So we'll do a strum pattern um, for each of those. The strum pattern for the verses and the chorus um, are the same. Strum pattern for the pre-chorus is just a little bit different. Um, and then, yeah, we'll sh I'll show you once we get into the bridge, the chords for the bridge, it's just three chords for that. And then I'll show you that kind of like funny way to, to do the jump keys. So anyways, um, for the verse, it's going G. Then we're going to a D over F sharp, which is just, you know, you get into your D, like you're playing a D sus here. Wrap your thumb around that uh, top E string, the chunky E string on the second fret. Or if you're used to doing it like this, you can do it that way too. So it's going G, D over F sharp, E minor, C. So that's going to be our uh, chord progression for the verses. And you're going to do that twice. So the strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up. So it'll sound something like this. So we'll, I'll just show you where the chords are going first. Miracles when you move. Such an easy thing for you to do. Your hand is moving right now. So the second part of that verse is gonna be the exact same thing. So if we were doing a strum pattern, just a very basic one. So you can do that strum pattern for each chord. So down, down, up, down, up, switch on the next chord for the down. So So that should get you where we need to go or where you need to go for that uh, strum pattern. Pre-chorus strum pattern is gonna be slightly different. Um, just first though, I'll give you the chords for that. It's gonna be A minor, G over B, C. So I do this A minor for most of my, most of the times when I need to use an A minor in the key of G. It's just really easy to, it's like a beginner A minor it sounds fine and it's just kind of easier to move as opposed to doing taking your whole uh, finger placements off and going to that true A minor seven. 
So the A minor that I'm doing is just, you know, you get into your C9 position, take this middle finger off, keep the pointer finger on there, and hit the bottom five strings. So I'll put a link up top if you need help on that. So it's going A minor, G over B, and G over B is just your G chord. Take the middle finger off, keep the pointer on there, mute the top string, and play the bottom five. And then it goes to that C. So, and right now, I know you're able. My God, come through again. So there's a D on the end there I forgot to uh, tell you about. So it's just gonna be on the last, on the second time through. So, and right now, so A minor, G over B, right now. I know you're able, my God, to come through again. So an easy strum pattern for this would just be, um, so I was just, I've been doing down, up, down, up. So the first strum pattern was down, down, up, down, up. This one is just down, up, down, up. So. Um, start on the A minor. Right now, I know you're able. My God, come through again. So it's just that right now, I know you're able. And that C gets it twice because we, for the first time, that first line, we do the C and we don't go to the D. So just an FYI on that, it might sound a little different. You just, you do that twice. So right now, I know you're able, my God, to come through again. Cool. So now we're going to the chorus, which we have a G, back to that D over F sharp. Then we're going to an E minor, now this is where things get a little bit dicey because there's this D minor chord in here, which I don't like playing it, but actually just because it's kind of hard, usually you do a D minor when you're playing in the key of C, playing those shapes and you have to like, that's your D minor there. So in this, the way it's set up with these chords, it's actually not that hard to get to. So I'm gonna show you how to get to this D minor. Um, but if you don't want to do it, you can also just get away with a regular D chord. Um, it's going to sound good enough. So, you can do all things. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. So that D minor, it's, going, it's coming right after this E minor. So... You, you can do, you can do. You're gonna keep your ring finger on here. Put the middle finger down one string. So it's on the third string from the bottom uh, on that second fret. And then this pointer, you're gonna take that. And that's gonna go on the first fret on the very lowest string, the high E string. So it's going from the E minor to the to the G. So you can do all things but fail. So that's what it sounds like. So you can do that or if you just want to like sneak in this little just regular D chord, it probably won't matter too much. Uh, especially if you're just doing it for fun, you're worshiping yourself. So, from the top of the chorus. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. So it doesn't sound amazing. You can do all things but fail. So when you just do that regular D sus chord instead of the D minor, it doesn't sound amazing, but it sounds good enough. So, you can do all things, you can do all things, but fail. So what 
whatever you want to do on that one. And then it goes to the second part of the chorus. Cause you've never all things but fail. Cause you've never lost a battle. So stay on the C. Cause you've never lost a battle. G over B. No, you've never lost a battle. A minor. I know. G over B. I know. To the C. You never D. And then for the chorus two, you'll just go back into that G and then and repeat it. So in full full motion, it sounds like this. And again, the strum pattern, if I didn't mention on the chorus, it's the same as the verse. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Except for um, a couple of the chords in there, which you'll pick up on. So you can do all things. You can do Slide up D was just, you know, it's a, it's still a D chord. It's just kind of a nice little slide up D that I like to do. I'll put a link up top if you want to uh, see it, uh, where my fingers are going for that one. But it just kind of sounds nice. So then anyways, we go into the verse 2. Then we go to chorus 2, chorus 3. And then so the bridge. The bridge is really easy. It's kind of that walk-up progression we had for the pre-chorus. It's A minor, G over B, C. Um, so, hey, you never lost a battle, you never lost a battle, you never lost a battle. He's just kind of like singing some stuff here. You never lost a battle. You never lost a battle. A minor, G over B, C. So then there's a little bit of a pause. Um, there is a little bit of a pause where they, so this is the funny part I'm gonna show you if you wanted to like jump the key. All you have to do is, so they go from B to C. So it's just literally taking the capo from the fourth fret to the fifth fret and still playing the same chords in, that we've been doing. So there's a little pause in the, in the bridge right before they go he goes up the key I, I don't know i forget what it ends on it might be that c um and then, it go, and then he jumps up and then it goes into the chorus you can do but now you're playing it in the key of C after the jump. So yeah, I don't know. It's just something funny you could do if you wanted to play along with the song. Um, but yeah, it makes it way easier than, than playing in these open chords in the key of B. And then uh, just because those chords are like, yes, sort of some bar chords and stuff. And then you would have to play well, for that jump. You would have to play, um, yeah, I think, C over E, um, A minor, something else. But anyways, it's just if you're if you're just playing this song for fun, you don't. I, I would say probably don't do that octave jump from the B to the C, and just just do the regular uh, bridge and the regular chorus. So um, I think that's it. Yeah, the the strum pattern on that bridge is just down, up, 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 down, up. the same strum pattern as the pre-chorus so uh, yeah I think that's it I think that should help you out awesome song funny uh, jump when we go from the B to the C if you throw the capo it just gives you enough time to just slide that capo up and then go into the chorus in that key of C so anyways hope this helped you guys out 
Um, if you have questions, as always, just put them in the comments. Um, I'll get back to you. And uh, have fun with the song. Have fun worshiping to it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch you guys next time.